Hello people. Today I have maybe the smallest project I have ever done. This here is from a Honda 5 horsepower stationary motor that runs a power generator. And this part goes between the push rod and the valve. And this is a new part. And what I'm gonna do to it is make this hole, this inside diameter, one millimeter bigger. And since I don't have my lathe, I will do it by milling. Actually, even if I had my lathe, I think I would mill this. And I will do it on my rotary table. Fucking insects. To be continued. Let's continue. I now have the piece dialed in. On the chuck that's on the rotary table. And the way I centered it is that I first measured that all of the jaws are as thick as the others, which is exactly 22 millimeters. So the distance from here to here is 22 millimeters on each jaw. And then I put the piece in the jaws. Um, I just first set it in by hand and tightened it down a little bit but I left it a little over higher than the jaws and then I used this chuck jaw with a flat surface and I pressed it down against the jaws so it's now straight enough for me and the centering I did by indicating the jaws on the back side because this is too small of a surface to dial the piece in so the accuracy I got is less than 500 of a millimeter which is just fine One jaw shows zero, this is three, and one is five. <clears throat> and the piece is now tightened. And I think I'm ready to mill. What I'm gonna do first is taking zero at the top of the piece, and then I will lower the, the end mill by 3.2 millimeters which is how deep this hole is and then from 6.85 millimeters to 7.85 millimeters And then we'll, I'm gonna use is this one. It's a five millimeter solid carbide end mill on an ER40 collet. Okay. The last thing to do now is changing the, the mill bit and zeroing the tool on the piece. 